So when I got a first job, you know, you were 14 years old and you could get a work permit. And you'd be in these factories and all these guys were older and they'd, they'd all be going, kid, what are you doing in here? Don't waste your rest of your life in here. Go to school. You know, they'd all be telling you this. But my job was a chipper. So when these guys were working on a machine, they'd switch over from cast iron to stainless steel or copper or whatever. You had to come in there and quickly get all this metal out of their machines. And then you'd have it in this cart with wheels and you'd take it down to a centrifuge and dump it in there and it would spin off the coolants. Because the coolants were actually worth more than the scrap metal at that time. This is a long time ago. And uh, they never even learned my name. They'd just go, Chipper! You know, they'd scream it. You'd hear it somewhere in the factory and you'd have to come running. And they would, kid, you better not be holding me up because I got a good rate going. And they were always, every penny they were working for. Some of the guys would want to work through their breaks and the boss would have to tell them, you've got to take a break and they'd be having hands that were greasy and shit like this, eating white bread, their sandwich was all gross and they'd be eating it and they're just money hungry. But then as you get a job in the shop and, and there's always a better job, just moving the parts around, that's called a hand trucker. Or if you got a job in the tool shop, then you just waited for somebody to break a tool and then you'd find a part for them. And there's all different kinds of jobs you can have at a machine shop and everybody takes lunch break together and it was hot and dismal but all pretty soon all the machinery took off to Japan and China and all the factories just closed up. It used to be where anywhere you wanted a job you could go and get a job and then they all packed up and left. Where I grew up out in the boonies there they had a place called Amron and they made weapons for the uh, United States military. And guys that I knew that worked around there, <coughs> they'd want to get a job. And you drove forklifts and you drove all kinds of stuff. And these shells get tubing cut off and they're compressed and they make a point on them and shit. And there was always um, research and development, but that was down below. You couldn't see what was going on. That was all secret stuff. But these bombs would be going off, and guys that I know that lived around there, their, their ground would shake when they were blowing up these bombs. And then that place is all closed up now too. That was like all the places in Wisconsin that had military places, like if you went up by Baraboo, a lot of it is contaminated soil, wherever they made explosives and stuff like that, the soil is just, they can't even build on it anymore.